Hello boys and girls, welcome again to Little Treasures. Well, how did you get on last week? Did you enjoy the snow? Yes, there was lots of snow last weekend. Did you manage to get out and build some snowmen? Or did you even have a snowball fight? Well, maybe it's going to be cold again soon. If you didn't get out this time, maybe you will next time. But in the meantime, what are we going to do this week? Well, in front of me, I have some A4 sheets of paper. And I'm going to show you how to make one, two, three different types of paper airplane. And maybe you might even decorate them if you make your ones. So come on, let's give it a go. So the first thing we need to do is fold the paper in two long ways just like that now it's always very important to get to the very corners get the corners to meet exactly if you can now that's the first fold the next thing we got to do is peel this one back here like so so we're making a kind of triangle at the top there do you see that and then we're going to fold it back again like so keeping it nice and straight now this is the simplest plane design i think everybody should be able to make this one so now i've done that with that side so i'm going to turn it over fold this back once to make that triangle then i'm going to fold it back again to make another triangle and as you can see i'm making a point all the time and these kind of match here you see that need to try and get those to match up and now we've got the inside of our plane okay i'm gonna fold that over so that it comes up like so and there it is and just might need to get an adult to help with you i know i help you with this i don't know and then this falls down like so so, and there's going to be one wing, and then this one is going to fold down like so, all the way down, great, and now look what we've got, wow, there's our airplane number one, and if you really want to make it special, look what you can do at the end here, if I just cut this a little bit like this here, you see that? I'm just ripping it a little bit you might want to use a, a scissors to do that what i can do then is pull that out like so and look look what's happened we've now got a tail to our airplane look at that whoa and wait to see we're gonna fly these later on and then we'll know do they really work so that's our first one now we get ready for our second airplane now this one is a little bit more complicated so we gotta fold that up like that and make a huge big triangle again you gotta try and make these triangles as even as possible in the corners so let's move that's folded like that there and this one comes over and i fold it down to this corner here and again just flattening out those edges now this next part is a little bit complicated. You see, I've kind of got this shape coming here. What I gotta do is pull these two inside ones flat and put them down and fold this down on top of it. It's not very easy. <laughs> I hope you find it is, because that is how you make the front of our second airplane. Now, the next part is even more tricky, look. I've got to fold that triangle up back up there and that's made another triangle and this one folds up here and this makes another triangle and now we square off the nose so that it comes up like this this is a most unusual shape isn't it but this is going to be the front of the airplane wait you see boys and girls when i fold this up now in half and again, you can do this at home. And remember, you can replay this video. If you can't see what I'm doing, you can just replay it and find out exactly what I just did. But now I have folded that in half. Can you see that? 
I fold that in half and now what I can do is fold the wings down a bit like we did on the other airplane, on our first airplane. Just fold that down like so. And then I fold this one down like so to match it. And this is going to be our second airplane. Now look at that, do you think it'll fly? It's got quite a heavy nose on it, but believe it boys and girls, that will actually make it fly very well. And again, if you like, we can just rip this little bit down the back in the shape of, well, sort of in the shape of a triangle and pull it out like so and pull it up like so. And now we've kind of got a wing on the back as well, the tail fin, and we can even just pinch it a little bit like that and then that'll bring it up to fly. Well, we're going to fly these later and we'll see how we get on. Right, that's number two. Now for our final paper airplane, we're going to need a scissors. Again, you might like to ask a grown-up to help you with this one. And of the three airplanes, I think this one is going to be the hardest to do. But hopefully, with the help of a grown-up, you might be able to do it too. So the first part is to fold this over to make that huge big triangle and to make it as straight as possible along those edges. All right. Now, the next part is to fold over this edge all the way up that line to the top corner. And again, to smooth it off and to make it as straight as possible. Now, this last piece is a little bit difficult. What we need to do is fold this over on this line. And the reason for that is going to become very apparent as soon as I have this bent here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut that off up along that line. So let me just do that there now. One, two, three, and four. Or now, I'm not cutting it very straight, but maybe you can do a better job than me. Now, we're just going to leave that aside for the moment. And what we're going to do for this is a bit like our second airplane. What we need to do is fold that along there, that along there to make the point, And then this folds down on top to make another wing folding down on top of it. There we go. Look at that there. Now, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold that up to there. And we're going to fold this one up to here. And it's not the straightest, boys and girls, but you know what? It still might fly. Now, I'm going to put that just there for a moment because next thing I need to fold this one in half long ways. If I can do it, dun, bum, bum. try and get it to fold halfway. There it is. Make sure it folds nice and straight. There we go. Fold it nice and straight. So now this is folded in half. Okay, opening it out. I'm just going to tuck that corner down like that there. And to tuck that one down like that there, and they should meet more or less in the middle. This I am now going to tuck up into our airplane like so. Right up into the corner, pushing it right the way through. Do you see that? So that this meets into this one here. Why is that? Because now I'm going to bend this over and that will hold it all together. All right. And now this one. I just need to fold it up like this here and hopefully that all meets like so and we're nearly there. The last bit's a little bit funny but it seems to fly better if you cut just a little hole here in this here. Just like that there. Pull that out. Look, see I've made a little hole and that actually helps it to fly better. So there you are, boys and girls. There's our first airplane. And here's our second one. And here's our third one. 
and these three airplanes we're going to decorate them we're going to take them out and we're going to fly them and boys and girls if you make a paper airplane and you decorate it, can you send a photograph of it into me at this here email address? And then I can show our other viewers as well. And here's how Rosanna has decorated our Concorde. That was our first paper airplane. Then the second one has got some lovely green and blue colours on it. And our third one is called the Eagle and I think it's got a bit of a boomerang to it. I think you'll understand later. So let's go off and fly our three paper aeroplanes. No better place than our own parochial hall here in Clonakilty. And this here, maybe boys and girls, you don't recognize our door. We've had a new glass door fitted to the back of our hall. Now, here's the Concorde. Launch, one, two, Three! Well, it went fairly fast and far. Here's the second one! Whee! ka -doing. And let's see that again. Maybe a little bit slower this time. Will it fly? Yes, it's flying! Now it's my turn. This one is a little bit special. This is the eagle. And watch this. Whoosh. Ooh. Ah, very good. But remember I said it was a boomerang? What does a boomerang do? Kidding. Wow, that was fun. Did the eagle manage to trick you there? But until next time, I hope you have great fun making your paper aeroplanes. Bye!